Now, let's go to level two of animations for architecture. Now, this one here is very cool because um, this one here, you can actually control the end of the frame on this one. So let me give you an example. So for instance, I as you, I, as you saw before, I had this image here, right? That is a edge stylized image. And then I have this image here that is a photorealistic image. Here, you can tell like in this 10 seconds, you go from this and then you see how it changes to a different concept sketch here. Um, and then I also, I think I wanna say I went to photorealistic too. Interesting, oh, here it is. So you see how you can go from here, you start with a concept sketch and then you go to photorealistic, right? So that's if you actually want to change the way you, you st stylize these things, uh, which I really recommend. I mean, if, if you really want to give them a more artistic uh, visual. So that's another way to do it. So how do you do that? Um, so the way you do that is like, as we're saying, like we are right here and I'm going to do this with you guys so we can kind of have a better understanding. I, I want to keep this very simple. So I'm not going to put a lot of attention to the prompt right now, but what you would do is you will upload an image kind of how we were doing before. As I taught you, you upload an image before in the image to video. Okay. Then you see how you have an end frame. So the only thing you really need to, you have to make sure you're in frames your star frame and then you click on end frame and then you give it another image. Then for instance, I will give you the image of the concept. We've been playing a lot with it. Yeah, so you see how here, here you're trying to transitions from for realism to image inspire. So I'm gonna use this prompt here. And as you can tell, you have the negative prompt. So you go there, you already have both. So you copy paste that. Then I will go ahead and look for the negative prompt here and copy paste the negative prompt there. The negative prompt is pretty much what you don't wanna see, right? Uh, from there, again, this one here, unfortunately, whenever you do the frames, it only gives you, allows you to do professional. And then, yeah, and then I'll do the two setups, 10, just for the sake of it right now, because we're just doing tests, I will do one. Also, hopefully it doesn't take too long. And that's the way you would do it. That's the main thing of using uh, level two is using it with frames so you can control the beginning of the frame and the middle of the frame. And then you can use the LLM to really make a good cinematic description of how you would like to rotate the camera. Like you, you kind of tell the LLM, hey, by the way, the end frame is the right angle of the building. So the LLM knows whenever it's creating the problem saying like, hey, rotate the camera to the right angle in that way clean kind of does it it, it does it you know that is it, not guessing if you have to go up down or left right okay that's great so you guys have stand those two things guys will give you like 80 percent of things that those are the only two really things you really need to be successful at animations in it now again the only thing you, I will suggest is to start with a good image, right? So really look for a good image that has a good story already. You still have to put the work on at least even generating like an image in mid journey or something to, to kind of give it some like storytelling that the, the AI can work with that. That's probably where you're gonna get the better results. So if you have to stay until the end, I'm gonna give you the latest one, which is the bonus. And this is how you can actually extend your animation. So. As you said before, the only two options right now are the five seconds and the 10 seconds um, for um, this. And you have to tell until the end. Here's the last bonus is that, as you could tell before, we were going between five seconds to 10 seconds animation. So now the bonus is you can actually extend these animations to up to three minutes. Now, with this though, it will only allow you to extend in intervals of five seconds. And, and it, it, that's good because sometimes you want to kind of not even go three minutes. I honestly think three minutes is uh, too much because you are only allowed to put the, the beginning of the frame and the end of the frame. You're not allowed to put more frames within. So what I would recommend you is generally the sweet spot is between 15 and 21 seconds. And then from there you kind of cut the clip and then you actually start putting the clips together in Adobe Premiere or, Photo or DaVinci Resolve. But, the sweet spot of what I've tried is 15 to 21 seconds seem to be a good setup to kind of have a good storytelling of a clip. 
So I'll, I'll show you how to extend these videos. So let's go back again to this. Oh, look, so this is the five second animation. You see this? Now, of course, this is five seconds, so it has to be very quickly, right? But you see how it goes from four realistic to concept. So now you have to be careful here that you have, I have this white background. So ideally you wanna make sure like both are the same size and both have the same foreground and background in that way it's seamless. But you see how he does it, right? That's pretty cool. All right, now I'm gonna show you the last step of how to extend it. So let's say I, I'm liking this, but it's just too fast. Five seconds is way too fast. So the only thing you need to do is come down here and extend it. So whenever you extend it, it's gonna give you an option here of five seconds, which is that, that the most it's allowed. I would normally recommend to go to two outputs. And then here is what, there's a trick too. So when you don't put a prompt and you generate that you're kind of the AI is trying to, it's kind of like you give it like a starting frame and an end frame, right? And the, and the AI is actually putting together the pieces, right? It's trying to guess the pieces of kind of how they go together. And most of the time it actually does it pretty good. There are other times that you wanna have more control. So you actually wanna copy the prompt from here and you actually wanna go there and maybe you wanna add something. So you are adding to the story, then you say, oh, and then the camera turns left or something. So you wanna edit it, right? To where it gives you different movements. So you start kind of extending that. But I, the first thing I will do is I'll actually, I'll try it without a prompt, mainly because I, actually AI, this, this model does very good with guests, like creating a storytelling when, without you telling it exactly what to do, unless you want something very specific. I'll show you a little bit uh, on the extent. So whenever you extend something, it will give you this extent. It will tell you these notice and extent. So for instance, I have extend this one five seconds, right? So you went from this style to a different style. And the only thing it does is extends the thing or sometimes it will create another animation. But if you wanted to start rotating or something, you can add it to the description. That way you have more control. So uh, for instance, look at this one here. So you start with like a shutter thing and it will actually transform it into a building, right? And then from there, it will actually people start walking and all that. So it kind of generates this concept that is starting from shattered glass and it's transforming into the building, right? So that's the, that's the thing. And then from there, once you kind of have that one, you can keep, and you can keep extending it five seconds, five seconds, and you can keep building up the prompt until, you know, until you kind of uh, up to three minutes. But I w again, at my sweet spot, I think it's 15 to 21 seconds. I think that's where you will get the most output, the best output for the video clips. And that is it guys. Um, that's how you generate very cool animations for clean AI. There might be more technical things, but this is the 80% of what you need to generate already very amazing animations. Everything else is really just practicing. So if you go there and you still keep practicing and practicing, you'll get there. Last thing I wanna show you guys, mainly because these are the basic plans for this, just in case you wanna kind of try it. So you can try the basic one. I don't think it will give you videos or it might take a while. I have the pro version, but I would recommend you to start with the standard version. Um, I think it's very worthwhile to just start with one animation tool or you can start with clear whatever but the important thing is that ai right now for animations is very good if you really want to go budget wise i would recommend you also start with zora because if you have chat gpt pro version or the plus version sorry that you put you just need to go to zora and you have animation it's pretty much free at that point because it comes included with the chat gpt license of plus so you are able to use zora videos in there so i will use zora uh, if you don't want to spend more money on animations but that's it guys, um, this is everything you need. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Tell me what else you would like to do, what other issues, what things you wanna know AI for you to implement in your practice and your office or you as uh, to get better in your career. It'll be very appreciated to kind of get your feedback. Awesome, thank you guys.